So after my drone nearly flew away from me because of all. Wanjiao is one of the islands in the Hong Kong group in Saigon, famous for its hexagonal columns and tombolo. While it is not as attractive as the crystal clear water of Bluff Island or Arches like Jin Island and Basso Island, it is still a worthy day trip contender with its dusk orange rock formations and small rock pools. Hello, so today we are in Wanjiao. So completely forgot, so I'm gonna explain more shortly. The only way to get there is by kayaking or private speedboat, so we went with the latter and set off from Saikong Town Center. The journey takes around 20 minutes and we docked at the northeastern tip of the island, climbing over to the edge of the Tombolo. Okay, so it started raining almost immediately. I was like gonna take my drone, but then it's very late in rush now we're crossing the Tombolo here. So it's still high tide, hence we are trudging through. But hopefully the weather will clear up in the afternoon. We walked over the Tombolo, which came to around knee high at its highest, then up the mountain for a classic viewpoint of the Tombolo itself. We carried on for a little while, but then turned back since it looks gloomy. So it's been raining on stop and we still have to do some videos, some photos. Hey. But uh, yeah, it's raining again, so we'll just be in the rain. I think going to see this is from the rain. We took some photos of the hashtagalo columns and went in the water when the weather starts to clear up. So there are some fishes here, but no one. It's only rocky island just that uh, There's a cave of lava rubbish, so it didn't ruin. That's about it. Not much going on in the cave, which sadly has a lot of rubbish. But there are some fishes found by Chris. So we are on the other side of the Padlam, which is really pretty. There's even a little waterfall uh, because of the heavy, heavy, heavy rain. It literally rained on us for like, I don't know, like two hours, an hour or so. So we're just really bright regardless. We then decided to go along the coast and explore and found this delightful little rock pool. So the sister nice pool. If you think there's no one? Hi! Hi. <laughs> then it was time to head back. So after my drone nearly flew away from me, I um we have packed up and now we're ready to go back to where we get to sh um speedboat so we can go back. It's been a adventurous few hours indeed. Our people picked us up where it dropped us off and took us to see the candle cave named after the silver of light from its narrow exit. And then we also looked at the Wangjokok cave. We also got a glimpse of the Clapshan rock on Bluff Island on our way back, which is cool. I completely forgot to say goodbye in the video because I was too soaked at the end of the trip. Hey, <laughs> 